well, friends or followers, I just received my SES 12 volt electric hot water heater element. It's a 12 volt, 200 watt unit. Um, I found it actually on YouTube, a company called Missouri, I believe Missouri Electronics. They sell these um, $77. I am going to take out the 110 hot water heater element um, from my water heater. Uh, it runs, I think, 1500 watts. And, um, you know, I'm just trying to make the most of my solar power system. And um, I don't want to, you know, I can run this off my solar power. But, it, you know, at 1500 watts, it's a pretty big draw. So I'm going to remove all the electronics out of it, remove the element out of it, and I've ordered a uh, mini split unit for, it's a heat pump, it's heat and air condition, and uh, it claims it runs on 600 uh, watts, so that'll be um, using a window air condition, plus I can use the heat pump, you know, for supplement heat if, you know, I don't feel like splitting wood or whatever. But I uh, probably won't use it very much as far as the heat aspect. So what I'm going to do is take the 110 line that's designated on a 15 amp breaker for my hot water heater. And I will then drill a hole in the wall over there, run it outside, and put a outside connection box for the mini split unit. I have not received that yet, but I'm looking forward to getting it. Uh, Amazon, dude, I'm not a big fan of huge corporations but hey they benefit me because you get so much cheap stuff like i said this this here i didn't get off amazon i usually get everything off amazon oddly enough i couldn't find one of these on amazon but it claims it'll go from 50 to 190 and like i said it's 12 volts 200 watts so Looking forward to installing that. Uh, I was going to do it today. It, it, as I read, I thought it came with longer wire and a switch, which it did not. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, I already have wire anyway, so I don't need to worry about that. But I'm going to get a switch. And I'm actually thinking about using like a garbage disposal switch and mounting it in the corner there, like an on and off switch. Because even though I'm going to run it off my solar power, I'm going to run it directly off my battery bank. Oh, that's the cool thing with this. It will run off of uh, anything under the rated amperage as far as solar without a charge controller. So it'll just run and heat, you know, off the solar. Um, or you can run it directly off batteries. They also said you can run it off a wind turbine and uh, hydro. But, you know, obviously I got the solar set, set up, so... I'm going to be doing that. That's going to be my project uh, maybe this week when I have a chance to get into doing it. Um, got some company. Hey, babies. They're out here today up at the fence line. They're always so excited to see me. Just like the rest of my friends. Look, I have the same effect on people. Just run away. Nobody loves me. That's why I live out here. But, anyway. That was just a little brief update as to that. So, after I get that installed and see how it's all functioning, um, I'll post something else. Maybe I'll post a little, little bit when I'm getting into it as far as the installation. I mean, it's it's kind of straightforward you just remove the old element take out the electronics and uh wire it in so anyway have a good day peace out